interact with Sunday. I'm not preaching. That's it. That's the sermon. Amen. I'm serious. Amen. That's it. That's the sermon. Here's what's getting ready to happen. You're getting ready in about one minute. You're getting up and you're getting ready to go to somebody. And you're going to testify. Somebody say testify. About how good God is in your life. How good God is in your life. Because there's going to be some things you may not make it to church. And remember, the text says it's not about where you go. Worship is about who you are. Everybody in here should have a word from the Lord. And not only should you have a word from the Lord, you ought to be able to live out that word. Somebody say, I know that's right. So this is what we get ready to do. I need everybody to get ready to go to somebody in about a minute. And you're going to testify to them about the goodness of God in your life. And do me a favor. Don't, don't give me your mama's testimonies. The text says be real. Be authentic. Be your true self. And just for a few minutes, just testify how good God has been to you. Amen? We are strengthened. Hear me clearly. We are strengthened by one another's so every now and again, you got to be willing to share what's going on in your life, how good God has blessed you. Because you never know, something you say may be an encouragement to somebody. Somebody say, hey, Amen. Amen. Now, anybody who knows me well enough know, oh, there's a sermon coming. But it's an interactive sermon. I need y'all to have participate in the sermon. Amen. Amen. So once again, in 30 seconds, everybody's going to get up. You're going to go to somebody and you're going to share testimonies with one another. And then we're going to come back together and we're going to have a little conversation. A little word. Somebody say amen. amen. Right. Now, let me say this to you. God says, if you are afraid to share my love, my words, my movements in your life before men. That's what the Bible says. That I may be unable to share your name before my Father, which is now. I need you to begin to share, be willing to share your testimony. I get to hear a lot of testimonies from folks as the pastor, and I go, wow, how awesome it is to hear how God is moving in your life. I thought about it this week and said, wow, how wonderful would it be for some other people to hear how wonderful God is moving in, in, in your life? It might help. Somebody say, it might help somebody. So this is what I need to have happen. Everybody, everybody's going to go to somebody right now. Right next to your neighbor, you need to go to somebody across the aisle. I want everybody to spend about the next five minutes sharing your testimony. Now, hear me clearly because I'm, I'm, I'm a good principal. But if somebody doesn't want to share their testimony, I need you to raise their hand and I need you to bring them to the altar. Seriously. Because they ought to be at least be able to say something that God has done for them. Somebody say, Amen. 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 All right, everybody go to somebody. I'm serious. 